Werewolf Comico was a number of things rolled into one. We like to think of Werewolf Comico as the Vatican, as Washington, and as New York City all combined into one place. The conservation easement on Werewolf Comico protects the site, uh, a site that has a deep history going back 400 years before 1607. It enters the historical record in the early colonial period uh, when John Smith was a captive and brought to Werewolf Comico. There he interacted with Powhatan, who we tend to refer to today as Wafen Seneca. And there were a number of important events there involving encounters between the colonists and uh, the Powhatan leadership. One of the events that happened at this event, or may have happened at this site, uh, was Pocahontas' rescue of John Smith. We don't know whether that event really happened, uh, but if it did happen, it happened at Werewakamako. And of course, the story of Pocahontas' rescuing John Smith has become part of the American origin myth. We started excavating at Werewolf Comico in 2003, uh, and we've been at it for really about a decade. We've learned an awful lot from those excavations. At the same time, we've only scratched the surface. We've excavated maybe 2% of the archaeological site. The excavations have identified three really important things. First of all, we found evidence that confirms the site's identity as Werewolf Comico. We're 100% confident this is the site of Werewolf Comico, Powhatan's residence. Number two, uh, we found a series of concentric trench features. Didn't expect to find those. These trenches, we believe, defined an area in the interior of the site that was a sacred or ceremonial center and also a place where the chief's house was located. Our third really important finding was the identification of an extraordinarily, extraordinarily large house. The house measures about 72 feet by 20 feet and it matches a number of the attributes that we would expect to see in Chief Powhatan's house. This was a town occupied for 400 years prior to 1607. Uh, the public's interest in the site tends to focus on the events of 1607 and 1608 at Werewakamico, but the archaeology provides the backstory to those events. The archaeology demonstrates that there were a series of ceremonial spaces, and these are those concentric trench features I mentioned earlier, created at Werewolf Comico well before Powhatan arrived at this place. So we believe Powhatan, who was born on the James River and moved to Werewolf Comico as he consolidated his chiefdom, that he moved to Werewolf Comico because of the power of that place. In fact, we've argued that it wasn't Powhatan who made Werewolf Comico powerful, it was Werewolf Comico that made Powhatan powerful. So during the 10 years of excavation that we've done at Werewolf Comico, William and Mary undergrads have been an essential part of the process. Without their hard work uh, and conscientious focus, the, the project wouldn't have been a success.